now I've sat down <laughs> we're gonna have a look at that one in a moment so I shall perfect that for you the reason I wanted to start with that song it's a song that's going to introduce our style of music that's going to be our main focus for today so this music we very much describe it as being country music in origin it's actually quite a recent track that was released at the beginning of the first lockdown by somebody called Thomas Rhett. So Thomas Rhett, and it was one that was new to me until a couple of weeks ago. So certainly as I've kind of been exploring and thinking about music to present to you and um, things that we could do, things that we can do in kind of this unusual situation, this one kind of, when I heard this song and heard some of the lyrics, you know, when it says... Um, in a time full of war, be peace. In a time full of hate, be a light. I love that idea of somebody being a light, being the hope, kind of having that belief in yourselves. Don't hide in the dark, you were born to shine. In a world full of hate, be a light. So it was a really lovely song. And I thought, particularly thinking about you going back to school next week and kind of, you know, having that self belief and kind of not. Um, celebrating who you are and thinking about kind of just really living life as much as we can, even in these times. So our style of music, country music, is particularly recognised for the instruments that are used. And obviously guitar would be a, a key instrument that would be used in uh, the music created. Sometimes even more kind of specific guitars like steel strung guitars or another stringed instrument like the banjo or again, another stringed instrument, the violin or the fiddle. Um, there might be harmonicas used as well. So the instruments in country music certainly help it to get recognised as, as the style that it is. Um, that particular track is quite a slow one. So if you listen to Be A Light by Thomas Rhett, it's quite a nice acoustic sounding kind of slow, just relaxing track. But a lot of country music can also be quite uplifting, quite lively and energetic. And certainly kind of some of the music and ideas that we're going to explore in the session are going to lead you to explore kind of thinking about um, music that's a little bit more energised, a little bit quicker with the tempo. So. Shall we start? Shall we start by getting warmed up, first of all? So I'm going to very quickly run through a couple of drumming combos only particularly because we're going to be thinking about coordinating we're going to start with our feet actually we're going to start um with our we'll start with our right side and we're going to go right hand so foot hand right right tend to don't we when we're doing our drumming combos start with our hands but actually a drummer most of the drumming combos would be led with the foot with whether it's the right or the left. So we're gonna have that right foot, right hand. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Right hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, let's wake up our left side. So again, we're gonna lead with our foot and then our hand. Four, one, two, three. Four, foot, hand, 
foot, hand that left, 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 four, three, two, one, and start. Let's stick with our left foot leading, but let's go to our right hand. So we're going to cross that, that imaginary line down our middle. So we're going to go left foot, right hand. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Left, right, left, right. So foot, hand, foot, hand. That left, right, left, right, foot, hand, foot, hand. And four, three, two, one, and start. Let's switch it. So we're going to, again, cross that imaginary line, but we're going right foot and then left hand. One, two, three, four. Right, left, 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 right, left. And four, three, two. One and start. Okay, so that's just to wake you up, just to begin to get you coordinated. Uh, but we're going to have a look now at kind of reconnecting with some rhythms and some grooves that we could use for our country tracks. Now, another thing that's really iconic, so stylistic of country music, is that a lot of the accompanying beats are either governed by our crotchet, our one beat note, or our quaver patterns, our half beats. So even the strumming patterns that I was using on the guitar were, were either that one and two and three and four and, or that one, two, three. So thinking about using different beats to govern our, not just our rhythm, but also going to be our movement today. So let's have a look. In fact, I'm going to leave you have a little think on this one first. See what you can remember from all our rhythm work so far to date. How would this one sound? So we can see I've got my crotchet beats, three of them. So that's my blues. And I've got some quaver, a quaver pair to finish. So how would that rhythm pattern sound? How are you going to count it? You might not only be counting it, but you might also be reflecting on the basses and tones. And our drumming combos too. There's all sorts of levels of challenge you can add as you're beginning to think about how would I read that? Well, the rhythm itself is that one, two, three, four, and. So my blue, 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 orange. Or I could do my bass tone, bass tone, tone. Right, left, right. Left, left. So there's that's my groove. Of course, we keep it on a loop, don't we? If we want that idea to generate, to kind of make that uh, vibe feel, we want to connect with that vibe. It we keep it on a loop. So let's try that. First of all, just us on our own. One, two, three, four. That right, left, right, left, left, blue, blue, blue. Orange, right, left, right, left, left, one, two, three, four, and 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 four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so let's see. You'll certainly, hopefully, be able to listen and connect to some of those instruments I mentioned a moment ago in terms of that kind of really stylistic to country music. Let's see how this groove fits to the country backing track. There's our beat. One, two, three, four, that right. Three, two, 
one and stop. So I'm going to give you another groove. And in fact, this groove we'll use with the backing track, but we'll also go back to that song. Got to make that song right, haven't I? So how would this one sound? How would this one sound? Again, practice it in your head. Think about how you're going to count. Draw on all those skills that we've been looking at over the last few weeks. It doesn't matter how you're reading it or how you're interpreting it. It might be by colours, it might be by counts, it might be by thinking about your combos. So again, the rhythm itself would be that one, two and three, four and my blue, orange, blue, orange. Or I can think of it in terms of my connecting my combo. Right, left, left, 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 right, left, left. I think this one's even more a stronger pattern, particularly because we're alternating between that right and left, that blue, orange, blue orange let's have a go again with this one with the track if you need to and you want to pause the video so you can just have a little extra practice but again we're going to kind of see how it sits with this track it's still playing i believe i oh, know where we going okay. it doesn't want to play Switch it in a moment to go back to the other one. Keep that pattern for the moment though, right? Left, left, right, left, left, right. So this one's a little bit slower in tempo, but that pattern suits it really well. If we've got that right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right. Now, if you keep that going, I'm going to do another version of that song. Keep that pattern going that.
in the dark, you want to shine in the So there we go, we've had a chance to think about kind of country music, the style, and rhythms and accompaniments that are suited to that particular music, that genre of music. We've done that with a backing track and with kind of a version of Be A Light. There's one other little thing I'd like you to have a go at though. So country music is also connected with a particular style of dance. And actually this style of dance features in quite a lot of modern music videos. If I was to say, Justin Timberlake, Kylie Minogue, or all sorts of, I, I, I should have done more research, lots of different artists, but certainly Kylie Minogue's more current dancing video features this style of dance. Justin Timberlake's, not quite country music, more pop, but uh, the Trolls music, I've got this feeling. Um, uses this style of dancing in there and the style of dancing of course I'm, I'm referencing I'm talking about is line dancing so line dancing is where lots of people gather together it's kind of a, a, a dance where people you know come together feel uplifted energized kind of to connect with music um, and to feel better about things in life so it's a nice way I thought to kind of finish do something a little bit different but to certainly think about that relationship between music beat and movement. So we're going to be, well let me just turn that down, it's buzzing in my ear. Um, so we're going to be thinking about simple steps that we could do. So you're going to need a little bit of space, <laughs> so, uh, not loads of space, just to be able to move forward, back and to your sides a little. So if you need to just kind of rearrange things, pause the video uh, and then kind of join me again. So we're going to be looking at a few simple steps. I'm going to show you a few, but I think you could be even more creative and have a bit more fun with this idea of line dancing. Uh, and also to listen to some other country music. So I'm going to mention a few artists and videos that you might kind of want to go and listen to. Obviously, while I'm on YouTube, I'm kind of restricted more to using my backing track, so I'm not breaking copyright or anything else. Um, but I'll certainly mention a few that would, would be great for doing this. So I'm going to start by doing a few steps forward and a few steps back. So four steps forward, four steps back um, on the beat. So we're connecting with that idea of that pulse. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, together. So this is really my blue. Blue, 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 blue. blue. Do my crotchet beats that are inspiring my, my movement at the minute. That fourth beat as you're forward, one, two, three, just touch, don't place your foot properly, and then go back, two, three, together. So with me, you ready? One, two, three, four, step, 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 touch, and back, two, three, two, together. <laughs> now we've got our blue, blue, blue steps. Let's think about our quaver bees. We know they're really important. We're going to have some shuffles. So our orange, 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 orange. Of course, my cat would be my blue. Yeah, I've got my orange, 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 blue, orange, 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 blue. So shuffle, 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 clap, shuffle, 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 clap. So let's join that two bit, those two bits together first. I'm going to go step, two, three, touch and back, two, three, together, shuffle, 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 clap, shuffle, 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 clap. Okay, one more time, we ready? One, two, three, four, and step, two, three, touch and back, two, three, Together, shuffle, 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 clap, shuffle, 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 clap. And then we're going to have, so dance only looks great when we use a variety of direction, it's a variety of height, it's all sorts of different movements. We want it to look 
entertaining. So let's have, we've gone forward and back and to our sides. Let's go around. So we're going to turn, 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 and do a little tap. So that's very iconic. It's very stylistic of country music, the tap of the heel. So do you like my slipper socks? I'm not sure if you mentioned those or not. So yeah. Very important for country dancing at home, slipper socks. Uh, so we're going to do that turn, 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 tap, turn, 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 tap. Okay. So we're going forward, two, three, and back, two, three. And shuffle, 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 clap, shuffle, 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 clap. And turn, 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 tap, turn, 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 tap. And there's one of the movement I'm going to throw in there that I can't, you can't do line dancing without doing the grapevine. But it's a little bit more complicated to begin. So just take it slower first. What you do is you step out, you cross over, you step out again, and then you tap your heel down. So I'm tapping my heel in that position. Step, cross, step, tap. Step, cross, step, tap. So let's have a go at that one. Are you ready? So the grapevine. Step, cross, step, step, cross, step, tap. And that's it, actually. That's going to be our sequence of movement. So a bit like our, our grooves, although they're only short and we keep them on loop, we're going to keep that little sequence of movement on loop so that we can kind of just be able to deliver a little bit more energy and can connect to how we're coordinated with the music. So we're going to go forward for four. Let's go through the routine once, and then we'll start to add the track. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. We're going to go step, two, three, touch, jam, back, two, three, together. Shuffle, 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 clap. Shuffle, 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 clap. Turn, 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 tap, turn, 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 tap. Great, right, step, cross. Step together, step, cross, step together. Then we'll go back, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four. So it, we're going to link it like our grooves. Now, one thing I will say is, as we're doing it, and as we're doing it with the music, what you might choose to do is just add a little bit. As you're getting a bit more confident with the steps, maybe you're going to add um, a hand move, or you're going to add a little jump. So the jump, there's quite an effective little jump you could add right at the beginning. Jump, back, two, three. So you can add that little hop and clap. Um, so kind of think about how you could add to create, ditch my routine, make something of your own. But certainly try, if you can, to kind of recognise where you're connecting to those main beats, main steps, the blues and the half beats. So those uh, quaver beats kind of that are directing your movement. So we're going to have a go with the backing track. If you lose your position, you might be able to pick it up from a certain section, but you might want to wait till we know we're starting at that beginning again on the step forward. So we're going to run through it a few times and hopefully by kind of doing that, you're going to recognise kind of how it's kind of just connecting to the music, it kind of it's got that energy, that feel, and that simplicity of the music. Certainly, when you kind of can do that alongside other people one day, <laughs> it's uh, it looks really effective. So here we go. Thank you. 
Now there we go, year three. So I'm hoping I have given you some ideas in terms of how you might choreograph, that's what we'd call it, when we're creating those dance moves, how you would choreograph something to fit some country music. And of course it's all connected, it's all governed by this idea of our um, crutchet beats and our quaver beats that kind of direct our foot movement and our hands. So I said to you at the end of the session, I'd recommend some songs. So certainly uh, really iconic artists would be things, people like Dolly Parton, Shania Twain, even people like Taylor Swift, although she's a little bit more mainstream pop now, she started out as a, very much as a country singer. So if you went to some of her early work, uh, you could kind of hear some tracks that are very much country music in style. Um, particular tracks, though, that would be good to work with would be a piece of music like Cotton Eye Joe or um, Steps 5, 6, 7, 8. Those two are really good. Um, but it might be that you go to Justin Timberlake's I've Got This Feeling um, from the Trolls movie. Like I say, and again, a little bit more pop than country, but you'll certainly get a chance to see some of the um, line dancing in action in that particular film. So I hope, here three, you have enjoyed these music sessions uh, that I've been bringing you from YouTube. I can't wait to see you back at school. Um, to try and get to a bit of normality and to have instruments again and to see you all, it will be lovely. But thank you for joining me in these last weeks. Um, like I say, enjoy your first week back. I'll, I'll be really pleased to see you. So take care, stay safe. I shall see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>